हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड लो फ्रीक्वेंसी रेस्पोंस ऑफ मॉस्फेट एम्पलीफायर यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दैट लो फ्रीक्वेंसीज आर ऑलवेज अफेक्टेड बाय एक्सटर्नल कैपेसिटेंसेस दैट आर कनेक्टेड इन ए सर्किट to understand the low frequency response of mosfet amplifier let us consider the voltage divided by a circuit as shown in this figure here rd is the drain resistor which is output resistor rs is the source resistor r1 and r2 are the voltage divided by us resistor cc1 and cc2 are the coupling capacitors cs is bypass capacitor here input is vi which is v signal that is connected to the gate through the resistor r signal and output is measured across drain terminal once we consider the voltage divided by a circuit we need to write the ac equivalent circuit or small signal model of this voltage divided by a circuit to write the small signal model the dc source should be connected to ground and the capacitors should be short circuited since we are discussing about low frequency response this low frequency is depending upon the external capacitances that are connected in the amplifier circuit that's why the dc will be connected to ground so whatever dc components are there in the amplifier circuit that will be connected to ground but will not short circuit the capacitor in low frequency response because we require this capacitor for calculation purpose so we'll write small signal model by only connecting dc components to the ground and we'll retain the capacitors as it is since we are having a resistor rs which is connected across source terminal we'll write t equivalent model for the mosfet which is shown in dotted line and the remaining part of the circuit will be connected to that t equivalent circuit this is the t equivalent circuit for the amplifier that is shown in the dotted line now we need to connect the remaining component to this t equivalent circuit at the input side we are having the resistors r1 and r2 we can replace this resistors by a single resistor which is rth so we can connect a single resistor in place of r1 and r2 which is equal to rth we'll keep the capacitor cc1 as it is we'll keep the input resistor r signal as it is and in place of input voltage we'll replace it by a equivalent voltage which is equal to vth so which is thevenin's voltage at the source terminal we are having one more resistor which is rs and parallelly we are having a capacitor which is cs now we are having vdd which is the dc voltage that should be connected to ground and the resistor rd should be connected to ground at the output side so let us take rd that will be connected to the ground we can measure the output voltage across the resistor rd now this is the small signal model for the voltage divided by a circuit which we have written here from this small signal model we can identify three frequencies first one is low frequency across the input and low frequency across the source terminal and low frequency across the output side so there is low frequency across the input side let us call that as f1 there will be low frequency across source let us call that as f2 and there will be low frequency across output let us call that as f3 so we need to find the equations for the low frequencies f1 f2 and f3 so f1 is the low frequency across input f2 is the low frequency across a source side and f3 is the low frequency across the output generally frequency can be given as 1 divided by 2 pi rc so 
frequency can be written as 1 divided by 2 pi rc. So from this equation, we can write 2 pi f is equal to 1 by rc. So here we can write 2 pi f as omega. So we can write omega is equal to 1 by rc. So we got two formulas here. So frequency which is 1 by 2 pi rc and omega which is angular frequency that will be equal to 1 by rc. So we need to find these two frequencies across input, across source and output side. Now let us find f1. So generally frequency f1 can be given as 1 divided by 2 pi r equivalence into c equivalence. So here we need to find the equivalence resistor across input and equivalence capacitance across the input and we need to substitute in this formula. In the same way we can write omega 1 is equal to 1 divided by r equivalence into c equivalence. To find the equivalent resistance across the input side let us take the input circuit. So we will short circuit the voltage source to find the equivalent resistance. So let us take the circuit across the input. So we will short circuit the voltage source to find the equivalent resistance. From this we can say these two resistors are in series. That is why we can write R equivalence will be equal to R signal plus RTH. So this is the equivalence resistance across the input side. So equivalence capacitor will be equal to, so at the input side we are having only one capacitor which is CC1. That is why equivalence capacitor will be equal to CC1. Therefore we can write F1 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi R equivalence is R signal plus RTH multiplied with CC1. So this is the formula for F1 at the input side. In the same way we can write the expression for omega 1 that will be equal to 1 divided by R signal plus R TH multiplied with CC1. So this is the formula for angular frequency across the input side. Similarly, let us find frequency F2 across the source terminal that can be given as 1 divided by 2 pi R equivalence into C equivalence. The same way angular frequency omega 2 will be equal to 1 divided by R equivalence into C equivalence. To calculate the frequency F2, let us consider the resistor across the source terminal that will be 1 by Gm and Rs. Along with this, there is a capacitor that is connected. So these are the resistors that are connected across the source terminal. So from this, we can say resistor 1 by Gm and Rs are parallel. That is why we can say R equivalence will be equal to 1 by Gm parallel with Rs and C equivalence will be equal to only one capacitor that is connected which is Cs. That is why it will be equal to Cs. So we can write frequency F2 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into 1 by Gm parallel with Rs into Cs. So this is the formula for the frequency across the source terminal and angular frequency omega 2 can be given as 1 divided by 1 by Gm parallel with Rs multiplied with Cs. So this is the formula for angular frequency. If Rs is very much greater than 1 by Gm then we can write 
वन बाय जी एम पैरल विथ आर एस विल बी अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू वन बाय जी एम देर फो अब फॉर्मुला वी कैन राइट इन वन मोर वे एज एफ टू इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बै टू पै इंटू वन बै जी एम इंटू सी एस एंड एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेन्स ओमेगा टू विल बी इक्वल टू वन बै वन बै जी एम इंटू सी एस सो दिस इज दि फार्मुला वेन आर एस इज वेरी मच ग्रेटर दैन वन बै जी एम लेट अस टेक दि थर्ड केस वेर वी नीड टू फाइंड दि फ्रीक्वेन्सी एफ थ्री एफ थ्री कैन बी गिवन एज वन डिवेडेड बै टू पै आर इक्वलेंस इंटू सी इक्वलेंस इन दि सेम वे ओमेगा थ्री कैन बी गिवन एज वन डिवेडेड बै आर इक्वलेंस इंटू सी इक्वलेंस here you need to remember you need to connect a capacitor across the output side where we will be measuring the output voltage so let us call that as cc2 so since we are not short circuiting the capacitor so we need to consider capacitor cc2 let us consider the output side only one resistor which is rd where capacitor cc2 is connected where we are measuring the output voltage so here r equivalence is nothing but rd since we are having only one resistor and c equivalence will be equal to cc2 that is because we are having only one capacitor that's why we can write the formula for f3 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi rd into cc2 and omega 3 will be equal to 1 divided by rd into cc 2 so these are the formulas for frequency as well as angular frequency now we have found three frequencies f1 f2 and f3 now we need to find the low frequency amongst these three frequencies so for low frequency always remember we need to take the maximum value between f1 f2 and f3 therefore we can write low frequency fl will be equal to maximum value between f1 f2 and f3 we will take whatever maximum frequency we have obtained between f1 f2 and f3 so this is how we will find the low frequency this is about low frequency response of mosfet amplifier hope you have understood the topic thank you